Hi, I'm Gabby. Now, I hate it when I get hurt. Everyone does, I'm sure. Some people say the worst injury is a broken rib. Others say it's a torn ligament. I say it's a paper cut. Honestly, I think that paper cuts are trees revenge on mankind. We cut them down, they cut us back. It's a normal thing, thousands of trees getting chopped down. Now, paper cuts don't seem like much to those around you. But when it's you who has it, it's bad. You have that one person who looks at you like, seriously? And then you have that guy who straight out tells you to stop being a baby because you're sitting there cursing and sucking your thumb. Then there's the nice girl in the back who has everything in her purse. She starts pulling out band-aids, a lollipop, a life preserver. But the thing is, they don't have to deal with the sudden stinging that makes you feel as though all your blood is going to flow out of your finger, feeling that half of your hand has been cut out and thrown into the endless abyss of pain. It's horrible when they're on your knuckles, because when you bend your fingers, it's complete and utter agony. Even worse is getting one in between your fingers. How do you even get a band-aid there? They don't like to say. You just sit there trying to figure it out. You turn you turn it every possible direction, and when you finally get it, you have to keep pressing it back on because you have to use your hands so much. And then your mom yells at you from the kitchen saying, Why isn't the trash out? I don't know. Maybe it's because I had to stick a band-aid back on my finger 20 times to keep out infection. I want to know what's up with all the different band-aid sizes. You have the little circle ones, you have the square ones that are the same thing, just not round. And then there's the small version of the stereotypical band-aid. Next, they throw in the big ones. I feel like they should be labeled, like the giant erasers that you can get that say, for big mistakes. They wouldn't even need to change the phrase. They could just put it on a big square and put it right on your forehead. Everyone would know you'd mess up. Of course, they added some weird shapes in the mix, too. Like the one that looks like an X, which I do not recommend putting over your eyes to try to make yourself look like an emoji. It looks dumb, and also you feel like you're ripping off your eyebrows in the removal process because your mom doesn't approve of your creative spirit. And then there's the designs. You go into the aisle and you see about 50 different kid patterns. It's as if they expect only kids to need them for a boo-boo. As if you're smart enough by the time you're 10. You can get all those cutesy little patterns, but they peel off in about 10 seconds. Or they work too well and say so you have to rip off your arm to remove them. The only adult ones are the flesh-colored ones. But what do you even do when they don't match? You either look like you have a discolored patch of skin, or you have a perfectly shaped birthmark. Nobody is that shade. It's not natural unless you're a Barbie doll. Even then, who would expect a perfect government-conditioned citizen to mess up and get hurt? It makes me think of that song, Big Girls Don't Cry. The thing is, we do. At least, I do. Paper cuts hurt. They suck. So we respond accordingly. Don't judge me just because I react.